Hey guys, Chris Bond from the Sock Mob blog here. So I showed you a video yesterday that had a method of making an end tidal CO2 detector and kind of MacGyvering it for all your sedations. Today, thanks to some suggestions from Jeremy Field, I'm going to be showing you how to make an even simpler version and one that's less bulky for the patient and that you can use with nasal prongs. So here's what we need. Microstream end tidal CO2 detector, which is what we have here. And all you're going to do is take a pair of scissors, cut it off right underneath, and then you're just going to be left with this. So you have the end tidal CO2 detector, and you might think this has a lot of dead space, but it still actually works really well. So I'm going to show you how you can do it with first a set of nasal prongs, or nasal cannula, and all you have to do is cut a little hole in the back of one of the right underneath the openings and then you can put the end tidal CO2 detector right in there and then looking at the monitor you can see we have a great waveform with the end tidal CO2 there it actually works even better this way than with the face mask. So that way you can use it for the nasal prongs. You can also use it for the face mask. It just fits into one of the small holes that's already on the side of your Hudson mask or your non-rebreather. Again, you can see that it picks up really well the waveforms and I've actually tried it out where you're breathing a little more shallow, like in a patient who's sedated, and it still does a great job of picking up the waveforms. Thanks very much for watching. This is Chris Bond from the Sock Mob blog. Until next time.